Hello everybody, my name is Eugene Camp and welcome to my YouTube channel and today we are going to be talking about how to create a 360 animated film using After Effects. I have done extremely well creating 360 animated films. I had my first 360 animated film in SIF a couple years ago and then it went on to become the number one 360 rental on Steam for 30 days when it launched. Several of my YouTube videos have done extremely well, most notably Sonic the Hedgehog, which has over 300,000 views, Pac-Man, which has well over 600,000 views, and my Super Mario VR video, which has over 10 million views. And this is the same technique that I use for a lot of the content that I make when I'm making 360 animated films, and I would love to share it with you in five minutes. So the first thing that we got to do is open up Adobe After Effects. From here, we can create a brand new composition. Make sure that the width and the height are exactly the same. I like to have 60 frames a second. And we'll just call this E3D because the product that we're going to be actually using is Element 3D from Video Copilot. So once we have the composition set up, we're going to go ahead and go to Layer, New, Solid, we'll call it E3D, and it'll create this brand new solid. From here, we can go to our effects and presets, go to Video Copilot, and drop Element 3D onto it. Now, once we're in here, what we can do is go to Scene, and this is where the magic happens. Now, for this video, once we're actually inside of Element 3D, I'm going to go ahead and go over to Motion Design. This is one of the many packs that they have available. And I'm just going to pick some items. And I'm going to move it all around me. Maybe we'll get some of these like weird organic pieces. You know, what, whatever models you have. Say you want to set up a video game. That's awesome. Say you want to make some sort of real estate scene that you're you know view that you can take viewers through later on now once you have your scene you might want to throw some you know pro shaders on here if you have them not everybody does and that's okay and I don't know this is kind of a crazy over-the-top world that we have right once we're done the next thing we want to do after we've built our scene is go to composition VR, create VR environment. We are going to be using this singular composition. I'm going to hit use two, uh, two node camera, use 3D camera control, camera center. You need to let it know that I'm using a 3D plugin. And once that's happened, it's going to create this amazing 3D image, right? This, this VR view. You do have this null two, which, or null one, uh, I like to rename it as a camera controller. And this is where you basically put in all of your commands for your camera position. Now, if we play it, look at that. Let's well, say you want a background of this. A really easy way is to just grab a spherical map offline most likely used for say like a video game or I can just go ahead and add a new solid right click it go to layer styles and then add a gradient overlay when you view it as a 360 map it will show up accordingly now if you want to export this it's super easy you just go to file export media encoder and when you go to media encoder it'll show you that your e 3D VR output layer. H.264 is a perfectly fine codec. And then go to a VR source. So, uh, mono match episodics. Cool. And then render that bad boy out. Rendering your 360 video might take a long time. And this is because what the computer is actually doing is it's created six separate cameras that are all getting different sections of your environment. And then what it's doing is taking those six, 
converting it into a cubic map, and then again converting it into an ecto-rectangular map. And that's actually what the computer is seeing when you're running it as a 360 video. Imagine like when you're in grade school and you see those uh, maps, how it's turned around or it's, it's concave. That's exactly what's happening here. You're taking a, a six sided cube and you're converting it to a flat area that can fit around a sphere. So I hope you guys learned something. Be sure to like, favorite, subscribe, do all the different things on whatever social network that you are currently watching this on. You know, if you were interested in getting, in going further in, uh, let me know. I would love to make more Element 3D videos related to this kind of subject matter. I try to keep all my educational videos about five minutes long. And if you're interested, we do have a Discord where you can basically look for other people to help you in your endeavors, in your 360 and animation endeavors. I also frequent the Discord as well, and I try to offer whatever advice I can to anybody who who needs it. Anyway, I'm Eugene Kappen. Thank you for stopping by my YouTube channel. I'll see you in the next one.